Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to another example dealing with the remainder theorem. So when this function f of x equals 5x cubed plus mx squared plus nx minus eight is divided by x minus two, the remainder is 24. When it's divided by x plus one, the remainder is negative 18. And we gotta find this m and that n, those coefficients right there. And so what we gotta do, since we're finding two, unknowns, we need two equations. And so notice that if f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 24. And so with the remainder theorem, what we can say here is that f of 2 is equal to 24. From that statement, we know this holds with the remainder theorem right, f of that k value, which is positive two, you switch the signs. And then we're also told that if f of x is divided by x plus one, the remainder is negative 18. Well, from this statement, we know f of negative one has to equal negative 18. And so we can make two equations from both of these. So f of two, what we would do is we would plug in two for all the x's. So two to the power of three is eight times five is 40. So we would have 40 plus four m plus two n minus eight. And that has to equal 24. So this, I made that equation right there. And then this here, we would plug in negative one for all of the x's. So negative one to the power of three is negative one times five is negative five. Uh, negative one to the power of two is one plus m minus n minus eight has to equal negative 18, like that. So I took this and made that equation right there. Right, so we're gonna simplify these equations, but the point is, is now that we have two equations, we could solve for those two unknowns using substitution or elimination. Uh, I'm gonna use probably substitution, just because these M and Ns are by themselves over here. So I'm first gonna simplify this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rewrite it here. So I'm gonna have four M plus 2n. I'm going to keep these on the left side, and then I'm going to bring the 40 over and then the negative 8 over. So negative 8 goes over, positive 8, that would be 32 minus 40 would give us negative 8. Uh, like that. Yeah, that's all good. And we could simplify this further. We could actually divide everything by 2, which I recommend doing. Right, so that first equation ends up being this. Now this second equation, I'm gonna keep the m and the n on the left side, bring the negative eight over. Negative 18 plus eight is negative 10, plus five gives us uh, negative five. So that's the other equation. And then from here, I mean, it's just uh, substitution or elimination. So I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna isolate for the m here. Right, bring the negative n over, and then I'm going to plug in that m here. So I'll have 2n minus 5 plus n equals negative 4. By the way, you, you might go in a whole different order here. As long as you get the same n, uh, the same m and n values at the end, that's really what matters. Um, so here we have 2n minus 10 plus n equals negative 4. 3n equals 6. Divide both sides by three, so n is equal to two. And then I could plug in this n value two here. So m is equal to two minus five, which is negative three. I kind of went all over the place here. But anyway, out of all of that, that's the m and the n value. The m is negative three, the n is two. That's what would make everything hold here. And you can actually test it. So you can, if we know that this is what it is, these constants, so we know the function is going to be 5x to the 3 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 8, right? If I plug in this m and this n over there. So you could take this function now 
and you could check if those original statements hold. So we said that f of 2 s equal 24, so you plug in 2 for all the x's, you should get 24. And then we said f of negative 1 has to equal negative 18. You plug in negative 1 for all the x's, and you would see that you do get negative 18. So that's how you could check your answer quickly.